The Magic and Mythology of the Hedgehog. Hedgehogs are prickly and cute. It's an odd combination that makes them rather endearing. Their prickly spines are formed from keratin, the same stuff that makes up our hair and nails. We all grow up with hedgehogs, though sadly these days it's more from popular culture than having them roaming around our gardens or open woodlands. It's so sadly in decline. Hedgehogs are frequently found in stories, such as those of Mrs Tiggywinkle by Beatrix Potter or Stickly Prickly by Rudyard Kipling, and even in computer games as the iconic Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehogs are native to Europe, Africa and parts of Asia, and there's a lot of folklore and folktales featuring them. There's an old and very inaccurate belief that hedgehogs used to steal milk from the udders of cows, but they are in fact lactose intolerant, so never leave milk or bread out for them. If you're lucky enough to have some hedgehogs in your garden, instead they love cat or dog food and cat or special hedgehog biscuits. Another old belief, mentioned by the ancient Roman writer Pliny the Elder, is that hedgehogs use their prickly spines to pick up and carry off various fallen fruits in the autumn, things like grapes and apples, to their den to be eaten later. However, hedgehogs tend to eat on the go rather than storing food away for later. If indeed they do do this, it could be that they're using the juices of the fruit to protect themselves from parasites and bugs. Protection really is a key word when it comes to the magic and the wisdom of the hedgehog. The hedgehog knows exactly when it's time to protect itself from others and curls up into a spiny ball to deter predators. The hedgehog offers us her prickly protection, teaching us to be defensive rather than offensive. She's a great ally if you have a bit of a temper or are quick to snap back at others and are looking for ways to protect yourself in a calm, responsible way. She teaches us to curl up and go inwards when we're bullied or mistreated, to not listen to the harmful, nasty words of others, but to go deep inside to realise that these nasty comments don't in fact relate to us at all. They're all down to the insecurities of the bully alone. She reminds us that others can only hurt us mentally if we allow them to, and so the answer is to not to let them or their words into our soft hearts. As the hedgehog is also a good mother and very protective of her offspring, she's a powerful friend to call on when we're seeking to protect our own little families, whether they are by blood or friendship. In magic, the hedgehog is a chthonic animal of the element of earth. They're mostly nocturnal and so are a creature of the moon. Hedgehogs are a great ally to gardeners and green witches, for they eat beetles, caterpillars, snails and slugs who would otherwise eat our much valued herbs and plants. In law, there's a close link between witches and hedgehogs, especially hedge witches, as they're both associated with the idea of a hedge as an in-between or liminal place between worlds. As the hedge is also a boundary, the hedgehog, also once known in times past as the hedge pig, also teaches us the importance of setting boundaries in all aspects of our lives and in our magical work, in our work lives and in our relationships. Hedgehog is considered one of the witch's familiar animals. Hedgehog is a healer. In times past, this tragically meant that hedgehog parts were used as remedies for all sorts of things, like curing snake bite, eye problems, boils, leprosy and all sorts. The truth is that we don't have to harm hedgehogs to work with them. We can call on their magic, spirit, wisdom and healing energy and work with them in a safe, spiritual way. For their size, hedgehogs are quite long-lived. Hedgehog teaches us to manage our own health, especially via our diet and any relevant medications, to take responsibility for our health and to find what does and doesn't work for us as individuals. She asks you how you're really feeling inside and doesn't appreciate that bland, automatic, I'm fine answer that we always give, even when we're actually feeling pretty awful. Hedgehog hibernation is extremely complex. They do not fully hibernate, rather they can and do emerge on sunnier winter days for a quick forage before heading back to their dens to sleep when the weather turns cooler again. You may find that you have a strong natural affinity with the hedgehog if you feel that you're a bit of a hibernator come the winter months. The hedgehog teaches us to be wise as to the best and worst days for us to do things, depending on our moods, hormones and the situation we're in. For example, if you're having a bad day or in a bad mood, there are certain things you really should avoid doing because you're probably going to end up regretting what you do or say. They tend to emerge for good around the time of Imolk, the early spring festival to the Celtic saint and goddess Bridget. So the hedgehog is often seen as one of her sacred animals and is sacred to many earth goddesses. Like their American cousin, Puxatawney Phil, Hedgehogs are credited with being able to predict the weather. If they emerge and stay out at Imolk, then spring will be fine. But if they soon return to their den, it means that the weather will be cold and rather more wintry for a while yet. They're also alleged to modify the entrance of their den depending on the weather, especially the prevailing winds. As it's associated with Imolk, a time when life and the green seem to return to the earth after winter, the hedgehog is associated with rebirth, fertility and creation. The ancient Egyptians believed it to be an animal of life, death and reincarnation. 
In Zoroastrianism, the hedgehog is a sacred animal to Ahura Mazda, or Lord Wisdom, the creator and highest of the gods. In one Finnish legend, planet Earth was originally just a big ball of water. There wasn't any dry land at all, until a hedgehog turned up, bringing along sand and soil on its needles, which promptly got shaken off. It built up over time to create the continents. In another myth, from the Baltic region, when the Earth was first created, the creator got the measurements mixed up and accidentally made the Earth bigger than heaven. The hedgehog suggested to the creator that he could fix this by rolling up and squeezing the earth tight, just as the hedgehog did, which indeed did solve the problem. The creator then rewarded the hedgehog with spines so she could defend herself from predators forevermore. Hedgehog's a wise old soul. Hedgehog tells us to keep going, to keep trundling along and to keep exploring all our options. She reminds us that to really appreciate and understand something, we need to sit with it and contemplate it rather than just rush past and miss things. Hedgehog teaches us to enjoy life and all that it throws at us, for we can learn something from everything. Hedgehogs also are a revealer of secrets and treasures, usually from deep within us or from within the earth. In Balkan lore, the hedgehog is the only creature capable of finding the magical plant known as Estrava, hedgehog grass, or Rasroskovnik, and it can be used to open locks, reveal answers, or uncover hidden treasure. So if you're looking for answers of any kind, you could try asking the hedgehog. If you want to know more about how you can help hedgehogs, I've put a few helpful links below in the comments. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next video.